Double A, a win at Old Trafford. Why are you not looking all happy, mate? What is it? What happened there? Tell me. How do you think that game went? A bit, a bit boring, mate, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I know what you mean. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be upbeat because I know what's coming next week. But yeah. I said it on mine. I don't know if you're any different. I didn't see anything past the two penalties. There were penalties. You got yeah. to put them away. Fair enough. But in open play, I thought we were poor going forward today. It was toothless is the only word you can use, mate. We had literally nothing going up top. I mean, if it wasn't for those two sort of Garnacho runs, what else did we really do? You know, it was one of them. You, you pick your moments to look at inspiration. Rashford, how many times does he have to be offside? Couple, quite a few times. You look, you're looking at where the great performances were. You know, Casemiro was great in that second half. I think the first half he looked drunk. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say then, what about the first half? Because he looked all over the place, oh, didn't he? But yeah. I said in the game, I just want to pull you on Casemiro actually, because does that not show you the mentality of player we need? That that doesn't affect him how poor he was. He knew he'd always have it in him and he could then perform the way he did in the second half. Yeah, you know, it's that mentality. So he knows he can turn it around and put in performance. And how many of those players do we have? And we said it the other day, how is it players like that are the ones that are looking like they're going to get kicked out of the club first when, <laughs> you know, but Tommy runs around like a headless chicken for the full 90 and that's who you're basing the future on, players like him. And, and that's where this club goes wrong. And, you know, like I say, Varane, Varane was good. Evans was fantastic until he came off. And, you know, Ganacho, apart from them two runs, Bruno was really trying, you know, the frustration. Yes, that's what you're going to get from Bruno. But you could see the willingness was there and he was all over the pitch again today. And, other than him, you know, the less said about Marcus Rashford, I think up top is I don't know what he was trying to do today. Really don't know what he was trying to, to, to do, but it's one of them games that you come to Old Trafford and you take the three points and move on, and that's what we have to do. We have to look forward to Sunday as, as much as you can look forward to Sunday. <laughs> <Come> away, <yeah. laughs> Other than that, you come away and it's, you know, it's, it's keeping us ticking over for top four potentially, but or top five. That's it then. You mentioned Bruno there. I think he stands out. I think it's like people are looking at it and going, they're trying to find a positive, I feel, rather than them naturally coming to him. They're looking outside of the box, I would say. And when it comes down to people who actually want to give a shit, Bruno is top of the list, yeah. isn't it? But again, it's like you can be a half full or a half empty with that. It's like, how far are you lowering your standards to say that that is a positive out of this game? Or then you've got to say, well, at least the man wants and shows passion for this, for this team and everything we created came from him pretty yeah. much today and even that chance for Rashford in the first half the long ball over the top he is our moments man yeah. but without him I think this season mate I mean well, you've got to look where we'd be yeah absolutely and you know he has his critics rightly rightly in a lot of the cases and stuff like that but you know if you think he's a good captain or not he leads from the front and he, you know he's not without the passion and the willingness and the drive to try and make the team better rightly or wrongly in however way he does it uh, just a realisation then, it's like we're talking about trying to find individual performances that were good. Why is it never a, te a team performance that's good? Why can it not be a collective of players that all string together great performances for a team? And, mate, I think it's just it's the case of right now, it's just getting through each game as we can. And that, that's a sad thing to say at this point in the season. But, I mean, it's, it, it's frustrating that this team can't. Look, against an Everton team that we're. This shit, aren't they? Let's be honest. And no, no two ways about it. That every team looked terrible, but they they did have a couple of chances. You would, you would have to say in the game. Yeah, twenty three shots. Again, another team getting twenty three <laughs> shots. Yeah, like honestly, it didn't look like it because no. they didn't get anywhere near no. an honest <laughs> goal, did it? No. But no. it's getting in the positions. It's the worry because a better team, Double A, yeah. would tear us apart. Oh, absolutely, and, and we're very lucky that they are shit and up top. <laughs> and even Cavalier coming on couldn't do anything at all. And I think he had a, a that header I can think of in the second half that he had. It's, it's it's really quite bad on Ten Hag that he's allowing this continue to happen. Like every single team that comes here or away, you know, we're, we're just bending over and just letting them let's take, take the piss, mate. In in the best way to say it, really. And you know, it, can, it you look at Lindelof at left back is a waste of space, and we we know that. And but you think Delo, a lot of people shout for for player of the season. And Varane and, and Evans, who both you would say would have had good games, but why, why is it continuously that we're letting so many teams come here and just pl not players off the park, but uh, we're so open and the space that their midfield had today, especially in that a lot in the second half, they had a lot of space to run through. And you know what? What are the jobs of the midfielders other than Casemiro and and uh, Menu to, to cover that and, and to, to protect the back five or back four? You know. Where, where is that extra runner from McTominay and Bruno? It comes to organisation, doesn't yeah, it, at the end of absolutely. the day, mate? Is that all it's down to there. the coach's side? Yeah, but, I mean, before we finish up, mate, I would normally do, like, your man of the match, but the question I'm asking everyone today is, what do you think of Scott McTominay's new haircut? 
<laughs> I mean, it takes away from his shit performances, so it must be good then, yeah? Vidal Sassoon, here we go. Grand deal coming your way, Scott. Cheers for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think. Drop your comments in. Do you agree with Double A? We are clutching at straws.